Today I'm going to sort out my car. The mirror indicator lens is cracked so I'll need to change that and I'll show you how I'll be doing that. You can use this process for changing the mirror or the mirror cover cap or the repeater lens. These are the parts I'm going to be using. For this I'm going to be using plastic car trim removal tools. I bought these from eBay for £2.99. You'll also need a new wing mirror indicator lens itself. But make sure if you're going to use an LED one that the previous one was an LED or it's compatible. I've got a torque socket set. I'm actually going to be using the T10 torque socket. Okay, first of all, I'm going to take the plastic mirror cap off using the plastic trim removal tool. It's just basically a flat bit of plastic. You can get between the gap and prise it apart and it's not going to damage the plastic painted mirror cap. It just pops off with a little bit of wangling. Now I'm going to take the mirror off. I'm now getting the plastic tool just behind it to lever it off and it just unclips. I've unplugged the mirror heater component plug. Now I'm going to take off the inner casing. All I'm going to do is to pinch the clips to release the inner casing. Then it just pops off. I'm going to be using my T10 torque socket and unscrew the lower casing. Now I'm going to unscrew the two torque screws that are holding the indicator lens in place. I'm using my other torque tool for this as it's a little bit easier to get the leverage onto it. The indicator lens just clips off and then take the plug off. I'm using my pliers just to get a better grip on the plug but I'm going to be very careful to make sure I don't crack anything. Now to put the new lens on. Okay, now it's just going to go all back together again and I'm just going to repeat the process in reverse. Plug the new lens in and then screw this back onto the bottom plate. And then screw the bottom plate back onto the wing mirror, making sure it's nice and solid. And then clip the inner casing back on and clip the outer casing back into position and then plug the wing mirror heater component plug back on and then just push the mirror very carefully into place. Try and push this just in the central position just where all the clips are directly behind it rather than pushing the force on the outside of the mirror as it's more likely to crack and then it just clicks in position. Great, that's all done. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel.